Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Just got home uh, from Holland. It's about a two hour drive to get back to where I am working here in California uh, and had a pretty interesting video idea. So I wanted to share it with you. It's gonna be a fairly quick video. I'll try to keep it under five minutes. Uh, a lot of you guys are nurses out there or nursing students and uh, you're trying to figure out what your work-life balance is gonna be, uh, what your work schedule is gonna be. And this is gonna differ depending on the type of nurse that you are, um, the setting in which you're working, whether it's a acute care setting or an outpatient setting, what department you work in, whether you work in an emergency department or maybe you are on call continuously uh, working in the cath lab. Uh, but for me and from my experiences is what I can speak to. Being in the ER, um, many different ERs around the country are starting to get around to working with self-scheduling. Now what this means is essentially you'll go through um, what's called teams and you basically will have a schedule that becomes available for everyone and you can go physically place yourself um, available to certain days of the week. Um, I'm currently going through this right now as a travel nurse, as the company that I'm with has me staffed at a, ho at a hospital that uses Teams. And so the schedule will come out and I will go manually put in the days that I'm available to work and those, those days will get approved. And that's gonna be my schedule for the next month, month and a half. I think it's usually no more than a month and a half in advance, you'll know your schedule. So I think I got this schedule a couple of weeks ago and it's gonna take me all the way until the early part of April. So yeah, coming up on about a month and a half is uh, the gap in which I know my schedule, essentially. And so here is how you can sort of get eight days off uh, in a row continuously throughout your career as a nurse. So here's what you do. Each pay period starts on Sunday. So you can schedule yourself to work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And like I said, let's say you want eight days off straight in a row without having to use any of your PTO because you plan on going to Dallas, Texas to watch a basketball game and then coming back and then taking a drive to Utah to go um, snowboarding or something. And, and you want eight days off in a row without using any of your PTO. So schedule yourself to work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then you're gonna be off uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't schedule yourself Sunday, but schedule yourself at the end of the following week. So basically what you're doing is you're scheduling yourself at the beginning of this week and the end of next week. So the end of next week would be working Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if I'm working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then you would work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's essentially what you can do in order to get eight days off in a row without ever using any of your PTO. Uh, and you can imagine how this could actually stretch to be a lot longer. So let's say you do the same thing, you schedule yourself at the beginning of the week, one week, and then at the end of the week, the following week, let's say you do use PTO. So now you come back to the third week and let's say you use PTO for three more days. Okay, and then you schedule yourself at the end of the week <laughs> on that fourth week. And so essentially you've created um, a schedule where you have, let's see, eight days, nine, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think you can get 19 to 20 days off in a row with only using three days of PTO. If you wanna use six days of PTO, you can stretch this out to basically a month. So that's how you can make your schedule to where you have eight days off every single time uh, working as a nurse and how you can essentially get anywhere between three weeks to a month off only using maybe three days of PTO or six days of PTO. And this is all while still getting paid essentially, right? So we're basically taking time off while still uh, receiving a paycheck, still receiving some sort of compensation. Now, if you want to go off and take, uh, take some time off to yourself without getting paid, well, then you can do that as well. But um, you can basically be off for an entire month um, with only taking six days of PTO off. And you can be off for about three weeks with only taking about three days worth of PTO. And you can be off eight days straight with only taking off, well, not taking off any PTO, actually. Um, and that's just from what I know. Obviously, if I sit down and look at the schedule, I'm sure I could squeeze out these numbers a little bit longer. Um, maybe there's nurses out there that'll work uh, 10 days straight in a row, and that'll allow them to have off even more days off, and then they'll tack on some PTO after that while utilizing at the same, while at the same time utilizing, scheduling yourself at the beginning of one week and the end of the next week. 
And so you can get really um, strategic with scheduling yourself. But for the most part, that's how you do it. I uh, hope this video helped you guys. Uh, I'm sure if you guys have any friends or family that are nurses, they can explain this to you in greater detail. I uh, just wanted to make this video. We're at three minutes now. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.